The Cape Cod Canal, one of the most infamous land-based striper fisheries in the world, seven miles of shoreline for avid anglers, with depths up to 40 feet and currents up to six knots, is the perfect habitat for catching trophies. What you are about to see is some of the most insane and incredible fishing in the world. Get ready for Cape Cod Canal chaos. <laughs> What's up y'all welcome back to another episode of a Ben's fishing i am out here in the northeast and we are fishing the infamous cape cod canal today uh if you don't know anything about me i used to actually live in massachusetts and i used to fish the cape cod canal all the time for the better part of about four years i also used to be a contributor for on the water magazine which is a very prominent fishing magazine in the northeast it's one of my favorite fisheries it may be one of the most popular land-based striped bass fisheries in the world and it's a very intimidating place to fish because you're dealing with extreme depth if you haven't seen any of my other videos on the cape cod canal i've been here for quite some time and my friend ryan and i have gotten some absolutely epic fishing today we're just going to be in search of blitzes we're going to be trying to do the jig bite and we're just really going to be moving around switching spots trying to find the bait trying to find the fish so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you're new to the channel Please subscribe if you like what you see. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. You already know I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support and let's get into the video. Let's get a line in the water, guys. y'all we are back at the cape cod canal and today we're going to switch up our style because there's not as much surface feeding we're not looking for blitzes now we're going to jig and so the canal has depths from 20 to 40 and even holes of 50 feet deep so i'm using four ounces of lead it's a hoagie swim bait paddle tail that's four ounces and i'm just trying to get it to the bottom and i'm just trying to let it sit in that strike zone for a little bit it's very hard to get to the bottom I'm watching. So the goal here is to cast, so the current's moving to my right, so I'm gonna cast way off to my left, let out some line, and give that jig some time to get to the bottom. We need to feel the bottom. The bottom is the strike zone. If they're not on the surface, they're typically on the bottom. It takes quite a bit of time, so I'm clipping in between for this to get to the bottom, or else half of this video would just be you guys waiting for my jig to get to the bottom. You get about 20 to 30 seconds to set up your cast, maybe eight to 10 to be in the strike zone. And then that's it. Man, I am not getting to the bottom.
Come on, boys and girls. Good fish. Good freaking fish. This is a giant. Oh, this is a giant. It's the biggest of the trip. With all that lead, you have to keep it super tight. It's coming towards me. Oh, it's huge. It's big. Giant! jig that's a big fish like 35 inches or so look at that with the hoagie in its mouth absolutely beautiful fish Hold on. check this out guys actually Woo! she was gone What was that? Is that a shark? Is that a thresher? On a fish? No. Might be a blue. Whoa. Oh my God, I can't turn it. I just got wrecked. I might just be caught in a rip, but This guy's gonna mess up my... It might be a blue. Okay, it got light. That's a blue.
Is it a blue? No. Guys, check this out. Look at that blue fish. That's a chunky freaking blue. Wow. Ryan, we should move up and jig up there. What? We should move up. Both my hits came way up. Yeah. Ryan, should I do it? They're so strong in the current. <sighs> Guys, when you catch this giant blues 30, 40 feet deep, they just fight different, man. They already go so hard. This is a, a 12. Yeah, good bluefish. Look at this freaking bluefish, guys. Look at the size of this, guys. My corker is a size 11 and a half, and corkers are huge. These guys are just wrecking me. Look at that, bro. I'd love to measure this. Here, I'm gonna put it to the rod. Here we go. Another hoagie, gone. No, I still have two or three more. I loaded, up and down, just like that. Don't stop that steady retrieve. They, they don't want it to stop moving. Wait, what? Watch. Still going down, still letting line out and waiting like a minute for it to get to bottom. And still starting on bottom, because that striper was 20 pounds. There's cows down there. Blue. <sighs> no. 
maybe striper. This feels way too heavy to be a blue. I think this is a cow striper. Bro, if this is a striper, it's gigantic. I think it is, because it's not shaking its head. But it could be a blue on its side, like Jack, you know? Your boy found him. It's a striper. I'm 99% sure it's a 40 inch striper. There, it feels like a blue right there. Yeah, I have its head turned. giant blue. I want to weigh this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want my boga for this guy. This is what we're catching. Gator blues. I mean, this blue is, is, I don't know how big, I don't want to call it inches, but very big. I'll throw her on the boga for you guys so we can get a good weight measurement. This is a 12 pound bluefish, guys. We're gonna go get a release. 12 pounds, Ryan. So still not my biggest of the trip. Look at that thing. See ya. Come hither, come this way. Watch, look at my spool. It just sped up, you see that? Look how fast it's going. That's the rip. That's a bass. Hundred percent. It's too. It's too light. Unless it's a small blue. Oh, it's a small blue. I think. No, it's. They moved here. No, I have it. It's small. Yeah, I think so. No, get out of there. Yeah, it's a small blue. Oh, it's a striper. Yeah, a small one. <laughs> a 
a striper from the depths. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Swim that way. All right, guys, we are switching from the jigging to use this guy, which I've been using a lot because there's some active blitzes happening next to me. So, we're gonna go capitalize on that with this guy. So I will see you guys. Get big. Guys, big fish. Yeah. There we go. Got one. <laughs> Whatever. Is it? I'll grab it. Hold on. Go on, dude. Wait, the I lost it. Watch this, guys. Watch this. There we go. Fish on. They're good tonight. Alright, it's a big one. It's a good one. Alright guys, check this out. We got a 10 pound striped bass. They're going so nuts. Is that good for you, babe? Alright guys. Giant blue. Giant blue. Pretty sure. No way, wait, 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 wait. There's an army! There's an army! Dude! Oh, shit. <laughs> That's chill. All right, guys. There she is. Head first. I gotta go back up. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough. Giant right here.
Oh shit, my bad, bro. Oh my god, that was at my feet. That's a good one. That's a really good one. You got a clear rock here. Probably. That's a good one, bro. Ah, he's trying to dig. No, it's a big striper. Ryan, can you help me? Yeah. Um, here, take the rod. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Got her. On the spook too. What's that? On the spook too. On spook too. Six, 16 pounds. That's nice. All right, guys, there it is. Beauty. Big old striped bass, 15, 16 pounder. Really good fish, super healthy. Let's let her go. Magic swimmer. Great lures. They're thick. Oh, look at that one. Watch this. Oh! Good one. Good one. Dude, the big ones are out there, Ryan. Woo! A good hit, right? Another 15 pounder, maybe more. Barely hooked. Woo! Look at that one. There it is, guys. I dropped it, I lost him right at the edge there. Picked him back up. Are you zoomed in, babe? No. Come on. No. All right, gonna send her back. I had to do that because I would slip and die. I just had a hit. Another one on. It's a blue. Babe, are they still going? Yeah. So nuts, guys. Okay, going 
head first. 